China's military launched a new round of war games near Taiwan on Monday, drawing condemnation from the governments in Taipei and the U.S. Chinese state media reported that China's Coast Guard circled Taiwan and staged rare operations of, quote, law enforcement patrols close to Taiwan's offshore islands. The Chinese military's Eastern Theater Command said the drills were taking place in the Taiwan Strait and nine areas around the island. The command also said the drills were a, quote, stern warning to the separatist acts of Taiwan independence forces and did not say when they would end. Taiwan's defense ministry and Coast Guard said Monday that both agencies had dispatched their own forces. Fighter jets were seen taking off and landing at Taiwan's Shinchu Air Base Monday morning. And Taiwan's Coast Guard released this video said to show one of its ships broadcasting a message asking a Chinese Coast Guard vessel to leave its waters. A Taiwan security source said there were no signs so far of any missile launches. Democratically governed Taiwan, which China views as its own territory, had been on alert for more war games since last week's National Day speech by President Lai ching te Lai's address was condemned by Beijing after he said China had no right to represent Taiwan, even as he offered to cooperate with Beijing. China's Eastern Theater Command released this propaganda video Monday, which showed a cartoon caricature of Lai with pointed ears like a devil. Taiwanese officials said Lai's National Security Council convened on Monday to discuss the situation. The council's secretary general, Joseph Wu, said that Taiwan would not escalate the conflict. We also need to stay calm and confident to prevail in the struggle between democracy and authoritarianism. We will stay moderate and responsible and work hard to maintain the cross strait status quo to help maintain peace and stability in the region. A senior Taiwan security official speaking to Reuters on condition of anonymity said they believe China was practicing blockading Taiwanese ports and international shipping lanes, as well as repelling the arrival of foreign forces. In Washington, officials from the administration of U.S. President Joe Biden said there was no justification for the drills and that they were continuing to monitor them.